coming to you live. No, I'm not live. Well, I'm live now, but when you watch this, it won't be live. <laughs> so anyway. Hmm. Should have cleaned up this garbage before I started. In the video we just did, Exodus... 15, 16, 15 through something. I hinted at the video I wanted to make next, which is this one. And it is in regards to a gentleman named Paul Washer. Not to be confused with Paul Walker, the dead movie star, who this guy kind of actually looks like an older, you know, if Paul Walker was a little older. So it's a compliment to him. And, um, Keep hearing noises, sorry. So, I don't like Paul Washer. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Um, I happened to cross some of his videos. I believe I, I, I heard his name and saw his name first because I was watching... Oh, boy. Well, it, the channel was named Reformed Wiki 2.0, but I believe he's since changed the channel name. Maybe. And, you know, he likes to do videos on hypocrites and the false prophets and false teachers and all that, which I fully applaud him for. I would love to do those videos too. And um, Paul Washer is not any of those. He's quite the opposite, in fact. And he uses Paul Washer as kind of a rebuttal to these false preachers and stuff. So I started watching more of Paul Washer's videos and I don't like him. And the reason I don't like him is because he basically makes me feel like a failure. You know how when Every, and everybody, I'm sure, has gone through this when you do something and you're thinking you're doing okay and you're making progress or whatever, or you're, you're at least somewhat satisfied a little with the progress you're making. And then you see someone else who just blows you out of the water, who just, you're in awe of because you're like, well, how is this person even possible? That's pretty much where I'm at with Paul Washer. His, his preachings and... His messages are so on point and true. At least the ones I've seen, which granted are very few. But the emotion, the intensity at which he, at least appears to me, pours into his relationship with God and how it appears he tries to keep what God really says. And he's about the Bible and not about bullshit. Not about, well, how I feel and, well, let me twist the Bible to fit my, like, viewpoint. He isn't about any of that. He's about, like, this is what it is if you don't like it too bad. Um, and, you know, he outlines how people in this day and age are basically soft and you know, how men need to be men, which I especially didn't like, especially every time I start playing Call of Duty on my phone. I, now I have Paul Washer pop up into my, to my, um, in my mind's eye and I hear his voice, anti-video game voice, and I think to myself I could be doing something more productive than playing this video game. Sorry, stand up straight, shoulders back. I'm trying to bust in on my video. I you trying to glory, tried to faint a fame hog. Um, no, I just started because I had to wait for the phone to charge. And I watched because we watched a couple of videos. Oh, Bella, I, yeah. So, yeah, and so, um, yeah. So that's the reason I don't like them. It's basically a kind of a joke or sort of because um, I'm envious and. He points out the things that I know I'm not doing, and he's on point, at least, again, from what I've, the small, um, you know, the, the small bit of stuff I've seen from a body of work. That's what I was looking for initially. So, 
my recommendation is that you also go and watch what he preaches, watch his videos, and listen carefully to what he says. And you probably won't like him either. But you should absolutely uh, listen very carefully to what he says, like I said. Because, man, oh man, does he, he just... And I, you know, sometimes I even think he gets a little too intense. Like, it's like, it almost seems like he's the no fun police he comes across as. Again, again, just in the few videos I've seen of him. I don't think I've ever seen him smile once. And just the way he preaches is like, he's, he's almost on the verge of like this super intense, but not like brah, overbearing. Just the, the... It, it, it's uh, it's exhausting to watch almost for for me because of the the way it makes me feel. So I don't know if it's exhausting to him for to be like that. I don't know much about the man. Um, all I know is uh, very inspiring, very inspiring because I think he is one of those people that at least he should make you uh, do a self assessment and very quickly I think you'll find that you don't stack up and we don't let's face it we're humans we're sinners even those of us who try and look like we have things together you know I'm sure behind closed doors are a mess in some way or another we all are but that's okay because you know we're sinners you you pray to God, you try to do what he says, and you ask for, for forgiveness. And as long as you keep trying, you know, and you, you know, forgiveness and all that jazz, and do what the Bible says, and you do what you're supposed to do, um, it's okay. You'll be all right, you know. But, yeah, I'm not going to drone on. Just wanted to uh, get that out there that uh, you should be watching Paul Washer at least from what I've seen. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to seem like. Well, I don't want to seem like I'm being wishy-washy, but you know, I don't want to get burned either because there's been times where I've seen people and I watched a couple of their videos and I'm like, yeah, this is legit. But then I came across a bunch of other videos where it's like, ooh, that's not legit. But it seems like this gentleman is very very like you know on point so i would recommend that you go check them out and decide for yourself i think you'll find that what i'm saying is true